Hello, my beautiful souls, the Awakened Dreamer here to give you your daily tarot reading for Saturday, August 20th, 2022. Thank you so much for joining me. Of course, do keep in mind this is general for the day for all 12 signs. Uh, so just take what resonates. But we'll begin by jumping right into it. If I could even say it, jump right into it and pull from the Pure Magic Oracle deck. I'm hearing taking it step by step step by step for Saturday okay I don't feel the need to take those bear with me I'm sensing a bit of annoyance throughout this day for one reason or another whether it's due to certain customers uh, co-workers um, people you live with people you uh, stroll by throughout the day or encounter I'm hearing people walking too slow for a Saturday Okay, I'm going to go with this one. We have uh, Salamander, Outer Out Burrows, Creative Work, Infinite Wisdom, and Alchemy. So it feels like a day where your creative work is coming into play, being noticed by others potentially. But I also feel like um, you there's a vibe where you just want to keep to oneself. Because we also have the Hermit card here. But thinking about stability all the meanwhile, um, there's going to be a couple moments, if not one specific moment, where you're pushed to close your eyes. And there's something to see, to remember, to uh, learn in one way, shape, or form. Your connection to the sun will feel quite relevant throughout this day. Um, even if you're surrounded by a lot of people, it's this vibe where you just kind of want to um, stay within your own bubble or you feel guided to. I'm being pushed to add up the number two and three to five. Um, the spiritual or uh, angelic meaning is a, of a significance for this day. But also the number three talking about spirituality um, being quite present throughout the Saturday and uh, the success that you're acquiring along the way. Um, but I also just feel like uh, there's a need to mend one's heart. I'm getting a very um, Three of Swords vibe here where I feel uh, you've been treated poorly in the past or just um, have been through a lot recently. But I just feel like there's a need to recognize even if you're very busy throughout the Saturday you can heal through it all or through some of which or if you're simply enjoying a level of just beautiful hermit time alone time utilize it to heal in one way shape or form okay um, I'm now getting if you can't accomplish it today save it for another day save it for another day all right which tarot deck are we going to jump to um, okay they want the small everyday tarot um, what do you have to continue for Saturday? They're pushing me to shake my head in disgust or disapproval. I feel like what you observe throughout the day at certain points is just going to be, okay, eye-opening or just um, baffling in one way, shape, or form. Some people is now what I'm getting. Uh, the Ten of Pentacles and the Magician. So I really do feel like it's a day where you're thinking about your stability once again. Um, and aiming for manifesting that Ten of Pentacles lifestyle and receiving some abundance, some quality results in um, on your way to that ultimate goal for oneself. It feels like you're trying to save for something or you're just simply trying to um, reach for a level of stability that you feel, security that you feel is necessary for the future. But I sense that there's going to be Moments where you either see infinity symbols being drawn to it by spirit in the most random moments or just simply reminded in other ways that the possibilities are endless at this time. Now, you're going to be reminded that you are manifesting quite efficiently throughout this day um, and that will come through in your own individual way. But we need to remind you because it is a powerful tool or a powerful skill set rather that needs to be put to use moving forward. Uh, but not overdone all the meanwhile. Uh, the Four of Swords and the Death card. I feel as if you're thinking about what needs to come to an end, okay, or just what's about to come to an end, but feeling a bit depleted, uh, a little bit low in energy, potentially trying to figure out how to um, replace or upgrade one's energy, um, keep the vibe higher, bring it on back, trying to enjoy what you're doing, um, trying to remember that you're protected moving forward, um, or reminding others they're protected through your creative work, your infinite wisdom coming into play through some of the work you're producing or with what you're accomplishing throughout this day, okay? 
Um, meditation will be important, but I do sense that change is on the mind, okay? It may feel like people are changing around you and it may rub you the wrong way or just um, not settle well within oneself. But either way, I just feel like you're at the very least changing on a core level being drawn to this reading and that's evident to others and that's okay. Um, yeah, the Three of Swords, remember, there's just a bit of a emotion that's being healed throughout this day and putting in the work when necessary, all right? Even if that's simply you putting in that healing work, right, that self-care work, but for some it's legit uh, work for your business or for your job or for both, um, either way, or your manifestation work, right? Um, it's going to vary from case to case, but I sense that whatever it is for you individually, it is um, feeling quite gratifying, even if you're just doing it when you're not in the mood. But the chariot coming into play because I do feel like you're thinking about what you're about to head towards, or you're simply doing your best to stay motivated in one way, shape, or form, or getting ready to hop back on that chariot and do what's right for you um, in the upcoming days. But I sense that there's just a reminder, okay, the number 77 coming into play, that you have a lot of options, okay? A lot to accomplish, a lot coming towards you. People asking you questions, people updating you on things, and it just feels a bit um, misplaced or annoying, um, or it could just feel like a lot once again. But I do sense that um, everything's happening for a reason. Enjoy because it won't last. Enjoy every moment because it's unlike any other. What else do we have for Saturday? Okay, staying focused will do you no wrong, but I just feel like there's also a, a vibe where you're expecting the worst, okay? For whatever reason, you're expecting the worst with a situation, with more than one situation, or with specific people, okay? For some, it's one person, but I do feel as if you're needing to remember that um, not everybody is... Uh, programs the way you do, okay? But not everybody needs to be given the benefit of the doubt either. So this may be partially due to your intuition being quite strong or just trusting in past experiences, right? But I'm now being drawn to the lizard as they're trying to change the subject. Um, your regeneration uh, ability is quite strong, right? Where you feel wounded or injured or just um, a little bit out of it, you can easily regenerate and just come back to life or just heal in, in one way, shape, or form. And you may find that in a situation you're not the only one who feels they have to go through that process throughout this day or just surrounding it in one way, shape, or form. You're not alone is now what's coming through. I do feel as if with the Nine of Wands, you're just burnt out, tying into that message we were just speaking upon. And that's okay, I feel like you've been wrapped up with a lot but there's also a reminder that justice is on your side and that may come through in monetary gain or just uh, certain messages, uh, synchronicities. I'm now hearing the word serendipity, okay? But I really do feel as if there's a certain reminder, uh, one specific reminder or certain reminders throughout the day of who and what's not meant for you. And I feel that's a consistent theme at certain points throughout the last few days if you were to watch those past readings or revisit them but i really do feel as if um, you're again connected to the sun and that's quite powerful feeling its warmth and uh, light and just basking in it at certain points but if it's not the literal sun i feel it's the spotlight that people are putting you in or you're putting oneself in um, it could be both of which but I sense that you're also thinking about completion and happiness and more peace in the future, okay? Um, you could be thinking about other people's uh, changes and developments within their situation as well, and potentially in comparison to yours. They're drawing me to a closed eye with uh, some teardrops, and I really feel like you're thinking about past emotions or just how uh, a release may feel good in one way, shape, or form. But I do feel like you're not feeling super emotional throughout this day, but recognizing you've been feeling emotional at certain points. So I need to heal and again, regenerate in that sense. But thinking about what needs to be cut out to make sure we're feeling quite peaceful, strong and happy moving forward. All right, you deserve the best. But I do feel like there is a bit of love in the air. 
loving vibes, caring vibes. But there's a need to uh, notice when the caring vibes are the are just kind of nosy vibes or fake vibes. Okay, there is a difference. But I also feel like there's a reminder that this is a day where you have a choice as to who you associate with, well, what you wrap oneself up in, and how much time and energy resources you give to each moment that presents itself throughout this day. All right. So I hope this was truly helpful. Sending you so much love and light and I'll see you next time. Bye.